Good day guys, Bing here. Um, previously we did a double hung window, so this is it. So you should be able to find uh, download this fa uh, family. Okay, so um, today we are going to make this panel. Um, it can make it um, can can be opened. Okay, so so um, yeah, sometimes we need this window to be opened so we can clean it, right? So. Okay, so let's uh, start. So first, open this family. So let's uh, have a look first. So this is internal panel. So this is so this is exterior. So this is interior. So we want this panel to be open. Okay. So um, first, I'm going to select this panel. So H H. So as you can see, uh, this that pack. No, it's being placed onto this reference re reference line. Okay, so and then we control this offset uh, using this reference line. So what we need to do now is we need to add some uh, extra reference line so it can be used, um, and then we can we can add a angular pr uh, dimension and parameter so we can control this panel so um, not only it can be a uh, um, sliding a slide slide up and down and it can also uh, swing swing <laughs> okay so let's um, start so first so we need to uh, use this reference line okay so first we set word plan on to pick a plan and we're going to use this reference uh, word plan of this reference line okay and then we draw another reference line i'm going to pick the midpoint so here and draw a vertical line so now i'm going to go create a set word plan again so pick a plan so this time i'm going to tab and pick this vertical uh, reference plan okay and then add another reference line so from this point and up here now we have this angle right so we can just do a di dimension angular pick this one and this one so now we have a ang ang angle dimension so let's just change the scale a little bit so we can yep see this uh, dimension so select this dimension so we can create an angular parameter so let's call it a and it's instance parameter in OK. So now let's have a test. So if I change this uh, 20, yeah, all good. Zero, good. 45, good. OK, so now this is working. And the next step is we need to um, place the panel onto this uh, reference line. So what we need to do is we need to change it to zero first. So once we change this to zero, uh, oh, hang on. let me just control Z because I want to HH this one because I don't want to place my panel onto this one. Instead, I want to place uh, the panel onto this one. So I'll just HH. So now and then change this back to zero degree. So now we there there is only one uh, reference line here, so visible. Okay, so now we can type. Oh hell! If I type HR, uh, I will bring bring the reference line back. Anyway, so let's just type HR. So I will maybe change. Sorry, I will change the angle a little bit so I can see which reference line it is. So this one maybe i'll just change the length of it so it make it so different yes i'll make them different so okay so this one's shorter this one's longer so we are going to place onto the longer one and also this will allow us to um we'll change this to zero apply and okay and then try to pick uh, i want to pick the shorter one and hh okay so now we only have this ribbons line so um, okay, so select this panel 
and set uh, were okay so it looks like there's no option to use set work plan so we just need to go edit family and here we just need to check this work plan based and uncheck the always vertical okay so load this back over right select this panel again so this time we have this option so edit work plan so click on it pick a plan you know okay and then we just need to try to pick that work plan of this uh, reference line so it's see this little small uh, rec, uh, square shape so this is it so pick this one so now let's have a, have, have a test so i'll change this angle for example 30 degree apply so remove it will and there's a warning because probably because uh, we lock this panel onto some reference plan or uh, uh, reference line so um, there's some constraints so it's okay so just click on remove constraint and I click OK so okay so now this panel is being uh, there's an angle um, but it's not in the right position but that's okay so let's go to click on left type, type WF select this one so we can move this onto this reference line and also um, just let me just double check oh yeah that's correct so see this reference line that's correct so let's go back again select this panel MV I'm going to move this panel onto I'll type SE to pick this endpoint of this reference line so now this is it so now let's type HL back to hidden line and then I think and we can uh, try change angle yeah good and good okay so uh, there's a little bit overlapping so maybe we need to adjust the panel a little bit WF or move this to here so now let's have a look again HL yeah I think that's better um, okay so let's have a test so 20 degree yeah 45 degree all good so um, another thing about this is because this panel can only be uh, swing open when this panel is uh, on the, the, the this the, the lowest um, position so maybe we need to add a formula some here somewhere so it when there's an offset it can be opened so when it's this one when there's an angle so maybe when there's an angle so this offset will become zero um yeah so maybe we can do that so let me think how can we do it okay so maybe we can change this one to 100 first just to move this up and um, okay so maybe we need to create another parameter so I'll just call create another one let's call it offset 2 okay so OFS2 <laughs> and um, instant, inst instance okay so if so offset to um, let's do the condition if if angle if angle not uh, not zero so which I think which uh, not a equals zero okay so can you see so if not a equals zero um o o f s equals o f s otherwise zero so when the angle is a uh, not um a zero so oh sorry sorry zero not one <laughs> yeah sorry zero not o zero <laughs> okay i think this should work okay so when and offset uh not zero oh yeah 
zero. Oh, yeah, yeah, all good. So this one should work. And also we need to link that to offset. To offset one become a just a value we type in. So um, okay, so click on OK. I think uh, we need to go to elevation because we have that uh, here. So see offset, offset. We do we need this? Um, yes, we need this. So I'll just select these two and change them to offset two. Okay. So now let's have a look. So go to 3D view and go. So currently, so um, no, so that's not right. Offset two, offset one, one hundred. If of that's not zero. Oh, sorry, I'm a little bit confused. <laughs> if not a go on. Ah, interesting. <laughs> Yeah, so interesting. Previously, yeah, once I click on apply, that just change. Yeah, all good. So it looks like it's correct. So now if I change this one to zero, when it's zero, when this angle is zero, so this offset two can, uh, will become offset one. So equal, sorry, equals offset one. Uh, let's call it one. Offset one. And if there's any angle, so it becomes, yeah, so no offset. I think that's it, um, HR. So let's load this into the project. Uh, hang on, is this project? No, <laughs> sorry, let's create a project. So I just create a project um, and WA wall. Go back to that. So this family load this into project and place it here. Place it here. So go to 3D view. So let's just close it. Okay. So we just need to type zero to close it. And then, yeah, I think that's. Oh, uh, and actually, we I think we lose the. Um, Option to drag that handle. Um, that's fine. So that's fine. We can just we can still use this to control. So zero is closed. Fifty open. Fifty one hundred. And once we add an angle to it, and we'll open this, and just make sure. Let's have a look in the floor plan. Just make sure it's open to that. Oh, is that this one? Uh, or this one? Oh, this one, yeah. So yeah, so this is inside interior. So you can see this one. So this means that usually this one's been placed up in uh, exterior side. Okay, so if we, let's have a look in floor plan. So you can see, see it's been placed here. Yep, all good. So this is it, um, a double hung window. So you can Let's go to three, uh, the project. So a double hung window, and you can <coughs> change it to one to zero. You can change. <coughs> sorry about that. You can change the. You can change the opening, and you can also open this window to clean it. Okay, so that's all. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.